tried getting the long range rails. Now he's gonna try to muscle in for Mega. Mega is up. The Hang does damage. Finally, Fleischer gets a series of rockets in on the Hang, but even so, the Hang is still coming. That's right. The Hang is low, but it's not gonna stop him from being aggressive. He knows that his aim is slightly superior in this situation, so he's comfortable with making that push, even though he just got nailed. And he's still not gonna let Fleischer get this red unpunished. Oh god, why would you oh, wow. drop? Why would you drop? Reason. Oh. That's nice. the main question I've been asking a lot of players tonight. Spots. Is, yeah, why the drop, especially with LG out? I mean, why the drop and giving up so much? We've seen a lot of situations that were in control of the down player just get totally thrown away. I don't know, something, something in the moon tonight. Yeah, you know, actually, you're right. We did see, was it, who was it? Everkill. Every, yeah, it was Everkill, thank you. On on T7, he kept dropping to try to even up the LG fights, and that never worked out. And then he did the same thing on CTN. So yeah, good point. What is it? Is it like gravity just misbehaving, and these players are like seasick, and they want to just get to the ground as soon as possible? I don't really get it. Either way, maybe it's just some, some sort of vertigo setting in for all these players. 9-0 for to hang. Fleischer still struggling, struggling to get on the board. And I think this is probably the highest armor count I've seen him have in like two minutes. Nice yeah, trade of rail. Right on that one. And it's not gonna last long. Oh, Fleischer does trade yeah. the rail, but the hang still has the ridiculously massive advantage. And uh, I think he knew exactly when that was spawning, because he, he almost hesitated that shot. Yeah. Like, he knew it was just the right time. Is he? Is that a sign that he's, like, almost even playing with him at this point? But he just kills him the, the millisecond before on a hesitation rocket? <laughs> Maybe now, so. last time we saw DeHang and Rafa go head-to-head, -head, which it's starting to look like it's going to end up being that way. Uh, but the last time we saw them go head-to-head, DeHang -head, De had to move the next day. I mean, he was very tired. I think we could all admit, even though it was very, very close, Flash very, got very on the board, intense man. matches. Oh, nice. Call but the shit that's happening, bro. We can all bro. see... <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just I'm just looking forward here a little bit. But I think we could see that the uh -oh. hang wasn't quite on his pause. game. And uh oh, it's uh oh, pause, pause, pause. There we go. But other than the connection issues, it really looks like the hang is bringing his own tonight. And he looks considerably less stressed than he has uh, in a while. <laughs> uh. I did really need to find this. I can't type worth shit tonight. Three, two, one. All right. Okay. Well, let's see. We got four minutes left to go. Making sure, yeah, the hang is, is back and no longer 999ing. Whoops. And, yeah. I would be so if this... happy if Fleischer just made us eat our words right now. I'm just saying. Well, that would be incredible. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's, that's not gonna happen. I can I can foresee maybe two more frags coming out of this. Greased the merciless Scotsman. <laughs> You're right. It is. It, we are talking about to hang, whose like yeah. strategy is running on this map, and with thrill like that, yeah. Fleischer's not gonna get much. Yeah, let's take a look at the accuracies. We're past the halfway point, guys. Uh, just a mere. About three minutes, twenty seconds left. Fifty percent rail. Yeah, for Dehang, fifty percent, thirty-two LG, thirty-nine rocket. Going back over to Fleischer, thirty-seven rail. Not too bad, but not too great. Thirty-one LG, thirty-six rocket. Actually, that LG is higher than I thought. Yeah. Uh, he's missing rails like that, though. That's that's rough. We hear the red armor pick up for to hang. Fleischer answers with his own yellow, but oh, almost getting caught by that rocket coming down the stairs. Fleischer oh, wow. answers with some great defensive shots Where's as he passes to hang. But still, this is nice. He's controlling 50 health. Mega's up though, and he needs to show up. Otherwise, the hang's going to be stacking right nice back up. Nice place by Fleischer. 
That, that's, this that's is nice really though. nice. Right play. now, there's very, very little of the health in the map available for Dehay. Very little. Right. Flash, you're going to silence. Like he still has a decent yep. stack. Ah. I mean, silence is golden. <laughs> yeah, the hang is just so solid on this. Why do you drop? Ooh, close battle. Why? Oh. <laughs> Why does he drop? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Weed head oh, chase, we have dropped. Felt like a yeah. <laughs> There's that gravity thing, I guess, you're talking about. I, I guess. Where'd he go? I I'm just know. flabbergasted. I mean, neither player looks like Jimmy Stewart, so... We do see a trade between Red and Mega. So if Fleischer ever wanted to make something happen, now is it. The hang might survive this though. 17 oh health consistently uh. planting rockets into Fleischer's face. And he survives. Fleischer backs off to fight another day, but only one minute left. And I believe we can safely call it the hang. We're moving on. And uh, nice finisher, 15 to 3. 42% railgun accuracy for to hang 33 LG, a 43 rocket. That seems pretty good. And uh, Mega finally taken by Fleischer, but accuracy wise, 35 rocket, 27 LG, 27 rail. He's going to do a grenade jump to the RA because that's how all the cool kids do it. Oh yeah. Oh, three in a row for the hang. Good lord, 21 health. Now, Fleischer's gonna go come back and think like, I almost killed you there, I almost killed you there, I almost killed you there. That's gotta be so frustrating. For the first, you know, eight frags though, I don't think he almost killed him. Yeah. All right then. So that will complete That's our bad. coverage for tonight, but folks, we have even more coverage coming at you tomorrow night, starting once again at 9 p.m. Eastern. You've been watching the Evil Geniuses Masters Cup Series, sponsored by MSI Notebook. Once again, a big thank you to Sir Scoots, the team manager of EG. And I want to say thank you to uh, Lecter and Toast from uh, EG slash MSI. I'm not really sure their affiliations, but uh, really cool guys making sure that the admining of this tournament, well, you saw it. I mean, we had matches coming at us. What it was like, we had to wait, oh, 10 seconds for the next one. So uh, really, really big thanks to those guys keeping things so organized for us and uh, working with the players to make sure that they are in the right places at the right times. Uh, it's really a perfect example of how to run a tournament. I cannot say uh, more, I, I can't think of higher accolades, uh, I can't think of a smoother tournament that we've ever um, had a, the privilege to broadcast, so big, big props to both EG yes. and MSI for making things go so smoothly. Please follow us on Twitter, we are QuakeLive underscore TV, you need to make sure to include that underscore, because there is some pothead with the QuakeLive TV uh, Twitter account without the underscore, so QuakeLive underscore TV is uh, how you can follow us on Twitter, and we tweet about all of our upcoming matches so you get to know our schedule, and anytime the VODs uh, get an update, I tweet about those, so uh, definitely a good idea to follow us on Twitter. Check us out on our website if you uh, happen to be uh, watching us now just on Ustream. Check us out on our website, www.quakelive.tv, where we have an enormous video on demand archive. Um, I Wow, now that I think about it, we have something like probably about 500 hours of video. Huh. I have never really tried to sit down and add that all up. Anyway. Oh um, my god. Yeah, it just, it just dawned on me like how many VODs we have and that most of them are like an hour <laughs> or too long. So yeah. Uh, yes. Um, anyway, so a lot of really great content. Check us out. And uh, also check us out on YouTube in case our... Uh, on-site streaming doesn't quite work out for you. We have a great media player, but YouTube, we are the Quake Live TV, T-H-E Quake Live TV, and um, 
That's our YouTube channel. So please subscribe. We love subscribe. Uh, sub